Hey, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. I am back again. Sorry about being late. I uh, had some technical difficulties with my computer. I had to give it a very stern talking to, but it is cooperating now. Um, <laughs> so we can stream today. Um, yeah, we are starting up Noelle the Mortal Fate today, uh, which I think I played like a minute of a few years ago. I don't remember anything. I know it's an RPG maker style game, like Angels of Death um, or Ib or something like that. Um, but other than that, I don't really know the plot or the idea of it. Uh, I don't know anything. So going in blind, get to see what that's like. Um, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop in because I'm already late. So let's get started see how far we get. And I'll remember to save, hopefully. Alright. We are doing a new game. Okay, uh... Yeah, well, I'm playing with a controller, so none of this really works. We'll figure it out. I'm sure it's the same, similar controls. This is very fancy. Now it's time to announce the winner of Lapless Lapless Piano Competition. That's Noel. As you know, the competition's victor will play in the memorial ceremony. We believe the piano's pure music can repel evil. We shall be blessed and protected another year. Enough with the formalities. Come on, out with the announcement. No need to get impatient. I'm sure he'll tell us the winner soon, Noel. Jillian, you're always so nonchalant. I envy that about you. Promising pianist of prestige. Noel. Is that just the last name? I don't know. Noel. Playing the piano at the memorial ceremony, that's the dream of every young performer who lives here in Laplace. And with both parents' professional pianists, I, Noel Cerchetti, must play at the ceremony. It is my duty. It's a little loud. Yet I wasn't worried. I've been practicing so hard for this day. My performance was on another level from the others. It was perfect. The winner of the year's competition and our honorable pianist is... The reason I was nervous wasn't because I was waiting on the results. I was wondering what to say for my victory interview. There were just so many options. I feel like you're gonna get knocked down a couple pegs here. So... Miss Jillian Littner, congratulations! Yep, there it goes. What, really? Huh? There had to have been some kind of mistake. I'm the best. Interesting. Statue of an angel de decorates the stage. Sculpting is another of the city's traditions. It's a piano for contests. A little old, but more expensive than the one at home. Decorative column, mere ornament, doesn't actually support the building. Okay, so I can run into them, and they will just tell me things about them. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you, I guess. So the winner is Julie. Uh, Julian? Jillian. I wasn't expecting her to win. I thought Noelle gave the best performance. I thought so too at first, but Mayor Burroughs is on the panel. I'm sure it was a fair judgment. I guess you're right. If the mayor is involved, we can trust that call. The mayor is very trustworthy. Is this Sarah? We're cu currently running a devil extermination campaign. Even if you should happen to learn how to summon a devil, Please never get involved with them. Aw oh, man, there goes my plans. One fleeting desire could destroy your life. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. Don't look so down, little missy. I thought your performance was best. I hear someone has been throwing bombs downtown lately. 
Not that an uptowner like myself is affected. I'm sure Mayor Bur Burroughs will deal with it. That's not my problem. Let me ask your point about the bombing. I heard there was a huge change in the judging. Maybe that's why the award ceremony was late. Interesting. Lampless is a small old city. By all means, it should have been sucked dry by the old Mafia families. But Mayor, Mayor Burroughs handled them. He's only 30, but he's truly a genius. Another high-level competition this year. This is a beloved trip. Tradition of Lapless, and I just know everyone practiced hard for it. No doubt Mayor Burroughs is terribly busy, yet he always attends these kinds of events. I can really appreciate a person who cherishes tradition and the arts. Recently, a branch of huge shipping companies uh, came to Lapless. If a bunch more corporations start moving in, good old Lapless may just be forced to change. I like that it tells me that an event will happen if I interact. That's really nice. Looks like Jillian's busy talking. Uh, excuse me. No, I'm not... My family isn't too well off either. Jillian, you're from downtown, if I recall. Indeed, many who study music have rich families, but that has little bearing on their musical ability. You should be more confident as a pianist. Oh, Noelle! Ah, you two are friends? I shall excuse myself then. Okay, bye. I can't believe you won. Apparently. Congratulations, Jillian. It was a wonderful performance. <laughs> Thank you. I called my mom. She said she'd bake a cake to celebrate. Diligent Cinderella. Jillian Littner. But I'm not sure if I deserve it. Everyone played really well, and I thought you were a shoe in Noel. So did I. Like, even a piano class, you were on a different level than the others. And your parents are pro pianists too. You know, deep down, I wanted to be like you. I'm the poorest student in class. I don't even know the etiquette to eat at a fancy place like this. So I'm sure I was picked all because of the days I practiced with you. So what? Huh? So you seek to mock me? Asking how it feels? To laugh at the Cerchetti girl who's disgraced her family? You want to revel in your superiority? Hey, Noelle, I, I didn't mean it like that. Excuse me. I'm out of here. Well, I did try to be chill for like five seconds. That time is over. I was heartless. And I knew it. Jillian was always a poorer player, always behind me. Yet, she praised my performance. In the intense piano class we toiled in, where everyone was a rival, she was my only friend. And yet, I took out my frustration and jealousy over not being chosen over her. She would always praise my playing, too, yet when our positions were reversed, she... she didn't deserve that. But I couldn't help myself. I failed to accomplish what I worked so hard for. How can I keep playing piano? How can I keep calling myself a Sir Ketty? Is this just your line, April? Hello there, miss. Y your Mayor Burroughs? Sorry to disturb you, but when I saw you run off from the hall, I was a little concerned. Lapless Mayor, Russell Burroughs. You're 30? Miss Noelle Cerchetti, I may not be a pianist, but I can understand how you feel right now. Between family pride and the rivalry with you... You're your friend. Sorry, I had a bob up. Rivalry with your friend. You must have a lot on your shoulders. Are you upset about losing? Nah, I just freaked out for no reason. <laughs> of course. 
I didn't want to lose to her. I wanted to be the chosen pianist. Are you close to Jillian? It's been quite some time since we first met each other in piano class. I see. So a rival and best friend, then. That must make the frustration even greater. But it seems your performance was just as highly regarded as Jillian's. Even if you didn't make it this year, perhaps you could be next year's chosen pianist. That would be no that would mean nothing to me. All I wanted was to prove that I was better than anyone. Jillian too. Praise? What's the point if I'm second place? There's no point if I'm not the best. Pokemon. That's how I've been brought up. I always have to be the best. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's it's like a timer in his brain. Um, best for the best, no matter what. I see. I'll be taking my leave. If you really can't give this up... What? If you truly wish from the bottom of your heart to be this year's pianist... If you truly wish to surpass Jillian, tonight, at 2 a.m., come to the abandoned building by the port, alone. Mayor Burroughs is part of a kidnapping scheme. What are you talking about? You see, there was an interference in this year's competition. A major change in the final decision. Well, I'll tell you more if you show up. Do consider whether you truly want to know. However, this night may just radically change your life. My life? Yeah, because you'll be kidnapped. Don't go. Self-preservation. Oh, I'm being forced to save. Thank goodness. I'll forget. A major change in the decision. And knowing about it could change my life? If he can only tell me about it in a in an abandoned building deep in the dead of night, then then perhaps maybe just maybe Jillian wasn't supposed to win, and I was. Is this just my wishful thinking? Yes, this is very clearly a trap. I felt something suspicious about it all. Gee, yet was strangely hopeful at the same time. I lay awake in bed after lights off, waiting for the agreed upon time. It's about time. I'll have to sneak out of our mansion if I want to see the mayor. Mission start. The mission shown in the top right corner indicates your goal, what Noelle should do next. Escape from home. If you're unsure what you're doing or should do, look at the top right corner of the screen. Okay. I see. I have no items. I have some skills, but I don't understand them. That's the save. Okay. I'm usually sleeping at this hour. If I went back to bed, I would fall asleep within three minutes. But I can't fall asleep yet. Go to sleep. <sighs> I'm afraid of sleeping in the dark, so I turn on this lamp when I turn in. So what? A laptop my parents bought for me. I don't use it too much. Well, time to sneak out. I don't dislike reading, but if I have the time, I'd rather practice piano. Passed on reading popular comics and instead dedicated myself to the piano. So why? I haven't changed into my pajamas yet, so I can I can go outside as is. I've never been outside this late. I'm not sure I should be doing this. You shouldn't. It's time to go to bed. Go back to bed. <sighs> Also, why is this what you're wearing, anyway? This room is soundproofed, so people don't hear much when I practice the piano. So I could just bang on it? 
A small chest. It has all sorts of stuff, from stationery to a disaster kit. Summoning and dealing with devils is against the law. Your life is precious. Live it as your own. Something tells me there's gonna be devils around here. It's dark. But I shouldn't turn on the lights. That might wake up my parents. I wonder if there's anything in my room I can use to light my way? Find a light. Uh... Lamp. Hmm... Small chest. Oh, yeah, the disaster. Okay. Search for something useful. Obtained a flashlight. I can use this to sneak out of the mansion. Let's go. Breakthrough. Clear bonus. One. You obtain P after completing missions. Try to complete tough missions smoothly. Oh, oh boy. The details of P remain a mystery, but it could be useful to have it down the road. P stands for persistence. Blades off. My family must be asleep. Let's leave the doors alone. I don't want to make needless noise. These flowers are actually artificial. There's no need to water them. My parents' bedroom is ahead. There's no reason to go near it. Right down the stairs. Okay. No reason to go this way. No reason to go this way. Well, the reason is to explore the house one last time before you never see it again. I enjoy having a cup of tea here when it's nice out. What? Ah! That scared me. Rose. Feels like a bad omen. I could create steps to climb on top of the wall if I move these boxes. Let's give it a try. Why didn't we want to go out? Hold on. Oh, because there's a gate. See, that's right. Only my father and a few servants have the gate key. And you slip out without going through the gate. So I had to go this way regardless. Because that's blocked. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not losing. P. This planter is full of weeds. It's being ignored. No one's taking care of it. I don't want to touch or open it. What's this circle stand for? Uh, don't reset. it. Ding, ding. Ooh, so hard. Alright, now I can climb up there. I made a bit of noise, so I should hurry up. Mayor Burroughs inviting me to an abandoned building at this hour. Can't be anything good. But if there's a chance that I can keep being the best, I have to take it no matter what. No mistake bonus. Great. That's the last time I'm gonna get that. That's a lot of saving. Probably for the best. Ah, yes. The abandoned building. Definitely where the mayor would normally invite you. You're here, Miss Noel. I knew you would come. Who were... You needn't worry. I am Mayor Burroughs' secretary. My name is Sibylla Becker. Okay, Sibylla. Uh, the mayor has a prior business appointment, and he has entrusted me with seeing you. He had a prior business appointment and decided to tell me to come here at this time. Poker-faced secretary, Sibylla Becker. Oh, I see. Well, why did you want to see me at this time, in this place? Miss Noel, I'm about to tell you something that must be kept between us and the mayor. You could call it a secret deal. Uh, okay. I'm like 12. No, I'm kidding. Um, our city of Laplace is no metropolis. 
It was plagued by mafia until a few years ago. You'll recall the mayor wiped them out recently. Yet people and money flow to the central city, and Laplace languishes between mountain and sea. Regardless, the mayor loves Laplace. While not a wealthy town, there's peace here. Get yeah, great for the history lesson. Um, why are you telling me this? Recently, an immense shipping company has brought their business into Laplace. That company is called Stella Stage, and they've already had a major impact. One might liken it to a colossal wave, an event that can transform a town like Laplace. Miss Noel, you lost the piano competition earlier today. Thank you for the reminder. Even that matter was not free from Stella Stage's influence. What? The piano competition is a tradition of the city, and this year's was sponsored by Stella Stage. With quite a generous amount of money at that. A sudden VIP sponsor, you could say. I assume that's a good thing. Yes, it was. But things aren't quite that simple. Miss Noel, do try to imagine this. What if Stella Stage had ties to a contestant? What if they were to push for a specific pianist to be automatically chosen as the winner? What? The considerable, pr yeah, the considerable praise for your performance, and the delayed judging with a chance uh, change in results. Perhaps these things are more connected than it would seem. W wait, do you mean to suggest Jillian cheated? No, she wouldn't do that. Not Jillian. It cannot be. Perhaps Miss Jillian had a hand in this, or perhaps Stella Stage simply took a liking to her. We cannot know the truth. However, Miss Jillian won the competition because of Stella Stage's efforts. That much is a fact. I am not an expressive sort, so it may not come across, but the mayor and I find this upsetting. Miss Noel, you should have been the featured pianist. I still believe this, even now. Yet these outsiders seek to devour Laplace with money and power, and you have fallen victim. This is a load of hooey. Now then, let us discuss the deal. Miss Noel, suppose there were a button here. Push it, and the president of Stella Stage dies. That is a jump. Of course, no one would know you pushed it. Since no one knows, no one would blame you. So did you really push it? Miss Noel, would you push the button? What? Because there is such a button. Right here. A magic button. It's 2 a.m. I cannot deal with these psychology questions. You, you can't mean... I can. I speak of a devil. I know how to summon a particularly powerful one. Whereas a minor devil will catch whiff of human desires and come to tempt people, a great devil is different. Summoned only by ritual, they will grant any wish. Miss Noel, if you desire it, you can enter into a contract with this devil and punish Stella Stage. H hold on a moment. Making deals with devils is a crime. That's what I've always been taught. There's a book on my shelf, on my table, that says, don't do it. Live your life, blah, blah, blah. You are correct. This is an act banned in countless count uh, countries. Because it is also the most certain way to make your wish come true. Miss Noel, no one is watching, except for me. You need not fear being exposed, nor evidence. This is a trap. Please forget about Jillian, for now. We truly wanted you to be the featured pianist. That would be the just and proper outcome. But that's... The mayor wishes this as well. No, the entire city wishes it. Steal yourself, Miss Noel. Protect Laplace's great piano tradition by striking a deal with this devil. I... Uh... How old am I? Please, make your decision. I'm sure Miss Jillian also wanted a fair outcome. Miss Noel, this is your duty as the true ceremonial pianist. 
to run now would be to shoot. I... Doubtless, you will have another chance at victory next year. Yet nothing will change that this year you lost. And why were you not supposed to win? Can you truly accept this? A piano. Traumatizing everyone in every game. You're right. I've put everything into the piano, all for this day. I can't just let someone's misdeeds ruin my life's work. I was the best. I should be the ceremonial pianist. I'll... I'll do it. Okay, you deserve what's coming to you. I'm gonna be honest. I'll make a deal with this devil and become the true ceremonial pianist. I mean, it's too late. Like, the, the ceremony happened. There's no going back now. Oh, goody. Is the magic circle done properly? Yes, everything appears to be in order. All you have to do now is stand in the center and put a few drops of this. Obtained crow's blood. What is this? It's crow's blood. Didn't you see the little pop-up? Blood? From a crow, no less? We're summoning a devil, after all. This is so gross. Are you sure that, that if I do this, I can become the ceremonial pianist? Yes. There's nothing to be afraid of. Stella Stage is in the wrong, ruining the contest. You're doing the right thing, Miss Noel. Right here, right now. Why don't we begin the true award ceremony? Just, you know. Why don't I run away? Why don't I just leave? I can't just leave. But, I mean, you could. You could just leave. Permits of a construction site, I suppose. It seems the demolition was stopped halfway. So they could use this for ceremonies. All you have to do now is stand in the center and put in a few drops of crow's blood. Okie dokie. The magic circle I just drew myself. Drip the crow's blood. Oh boy. Any devils looking for some crow's blood? Oh, that was fast. Devil Karen. At your service. So this is a real devil. My, this contractor is rather young. Tell me, girl, what is your wish? Red-eyed devil. Karen! Karen? Karen? No, Karen. Oh, well... You summoned me because you have a wish. You'll have to speak up. I, I forgot. I actually have no wishes. Uh, th this was a mistake. I'm out of here. Um, Stella, the shipping company, Stella Stage, its president. Please kill its president. Okay, look, you didn't have to... This doesn't make you the... Okay. You know what? Sure. I see. Murder, then. Then answer me. Why kill the president of Stella Stage? What? I want him to answer. Well, I... I want the piano competition to be judged fairly. What? What a pathetic reason. Is that really it? Yes? You're lying. That's just an excuse. There's only ever one reason for murder. It's that you've got something to gain. So tell me the truth. That filthy desire of yours. Then I'll make this contract with you. What is he going on about? Is this what a devil is like? If that's your pathetic reason, then leave. Now, you have no right to make a deal with me. I need to say something to form this contract. There's no turning back now. Uh... Well, I... Yes. I just... 
I wanted to be the chosen pianist, all right? <laughs> Asking a devil to kill someone. All to be the chosen pianist. What a wish, little girl. Are you nuts? So petty, so trifling, so foolish. Hell, I should praise you. I can't believe that at such a young age you'd strike out in such desperation. What are you talking about? Just hurry up and grant my wish. Very well. But I will ask you once more. You would pact with the devil of your own will to murder this man. He's giving you so many outs. You, I mean, come on, man. Of course I do. If you can grant my wish, please do so. Very well. Ripperoni. It is done. He is dead. What? That's it? I don't get to watch or anything? That's what a devil's contract is. Watch the news tomorrow if you don't believe me. M Miss Sibylla, I did it! Wonderful, Miss Noel. I will confirm his death tomorrow. So... Can I be the chosen pianist? Hey. Huh? I mean, yeah, that's what happens. No more limbs for you. Womp womp. Gah. Don't forget the price. Let's see, paying for such a high-profile murder with your soul. Your arms and legs seem like a fair trade. You'll even survive if you're treated right, right away. A perfect price for you, don't you think? I imagine this woman talked you into it, but I'm impressed by your sacrifice for that wish. Huh? Huh. Hey, Sibylla Becker. I don't think this girl understands what just happened to her. That is but your opinion, Mr. Karen. I'm sure the answer is yes, but... This girl did know about the price of a devil's contract, correct? was kind of not really clear. I simply introduced her to you. You can't be serious. Do you really think I'll take that as an answer? I'm asking if she knowingly staked her life on this ugly, trite wish of hers. Because if you tricked a girl who didn't know the terms of the contract... Please, Mr. Karen, at ease, I am simply stating the facts. You and Miss Noel made a deal, upon which... You granted her wish, and took payment. I can see no issue with that for a devil such as yourself. Listen, I decide who I make deals with, and how, by my policy. Do you think I don't know about how you and Russell exploit devil's contracts? You can't just casually call up devils to do your errands. If you have a question for the mayor, I would ask you make an appointment. He- Oh. Oh, dear. This is unforgivable of me. I thought you were long since dead. The pain must be quite excruciating. I shall end your suffering now. Jeez! Oh my gosh! Why? This is... What happened to... Farewell, Miss Noel. No. Stop. Help. Karen is mad. Well, Mr. Karen, that was a job well done. My regards, should I summon you again? If you and Russell keep making light of demons, it's going to bite you someday. I sincerely appreciate the warning. The end. Noelle is dead. I told you to go back to bed, dude. Help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to suffer. 
Miss Noel, you are a murderer who made a deal with the devil. Considering that, you had it coming. I just wanted to be the ceremonial pianist. You told me the president of Stella Stage was a horrible person. What a wonderfully pathetic reason for murder. Especially when the cost is your limbs. No one told me it would have that cost. Excuses. After murdering a man. You only think of yourself, Noel. I... You want to be the ceremonial pianist that badly? Then would you kill me next for the position? She got a point there. I wouldn't do such a thing. I just want someone to help me. I don't want to be hurting like this. Please help someone. Uh, was I dreaming? Where am I? What happened to me? Let me just get a, a... My arms are gone? Why? You lost them. And in case you missed that flashback you just had. No more limbs. Limbs rights revoked. No, I remember. I made a deal with a devil at the abandoned building. And my limbs, they... Huh? What are these legs, then? I have legs, but they feel... strange. Are these... prosthetics? But why? My dress is clean, too. Well, it's not red anymore, so that's a little weird. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I guess you can't have a protagonist that can't move around. That would be a little bit of a <laughs> short game. <laughs> What am I even doing here? Time to go back to bed. A dirty bed. Once I lay down, it'll be hard to get back up without my arms. These blankets are very dusty. Maybe no one has used them for a while. Oh! Ouch. It seems it may take some doing to learn how to walk with these legs. Oh. Oh, hold on a moment. How do I get up? Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Just wiggle around like a worm. I managed to stand up. So I expend so much energy propping myself back up every time I fall down. Don't fall down. The kitchen hasn't been used for a while. Fridge. Looks like it works, but I can't open it. You know, the whole no arms thing. Soil is dried up. Okay. Ugh, all I can do is walk slowly and try not to fall. Incidentally, after that, what happened to me? I'm not even sure where I am. You're in hell. But I survived being thrown into the sea, and now I have these artificial legs. That means someone saved me. Someone had to have saved you and give gave you legs. But who and how? It's a locker, but I can't check what's inside because no arms. An old piano. Noel wanted to test it how it sounded. Oh no! No arms! You'll never play piano again! She unconsciously tried to reach for it, before realizing she couldn't. That's so sad! Well, I'm leaving. I'm not familiar with this area. Air conditioner is making a low hum. I wonder who waters the plants on this street. That's just me, armless Noel. North slums, current location. Residence, Hilltop Square, South Slums, Gremlin's Shop, Fountain. We gotta visit the Gremlin Shop, where is that? Hi. He's staring at me suspiciously. He doesn't look friendly enough to talk to. He's staring at me suspiciously. <laughs> No one use. No one looks trustworthy. Walking in these legs is tiring. I should go back. But I won't. I'm a little scared of using stairs without with my artificial legs. These ones too. Okay, well, I guess I'm trapped in this strange room. Back to- whoa, hello. 
Welcome back. So you're up. Uh, you're- Settle down. A great devil won't attack a human without a good reason. I'm not a monster. I remember, you took my arms and legs! How dare you! I suppose that is a natural reaction. Good grief. I shouldn't be surprised. You probably don't know a single lick about what's going on. But it's no one's fault. No one else's fault you ended up like that. That was all on your own foolishness. Wh what? Well then, you owe me an explanation. Where am I and what happened after that? Okay, okay, don't get so worked up. Your stitches will open. I'll fill you in, so just calm down. It's not like you have anything else to lose. Nor any reason to rush. Hint, chat with the devil. Surprisingly, the great devil Karen will explain the current situation. It may be best to listen to him. Um... Where am I? First of all, where am I? In an abandoned house in the slums. No one lives here. Slums? I only know about slums from textbooks. I'm rich. What am I doing in such a place as that? You're a fugitive who sum summoned a devil. If I took you to a hospital, next stop would be the police. Y you got a point there. Uh, what happened at the abandoned building? I'll have you explain in no unclear terms what happened then at the abandoned building. Sure, I'll tell you, if you're ready for it. Because it might be hard to accept the truth. Doing as Sibylla, Mayor Burroughs' secretary, said, you summoned a devil, me, and wished for murder. Not having any idea what a deal with a devil entails, however. What it entails? You can't ask a devil's aid just for free. The contractor always has to pay a price. Of course, it's all up to the devil to determine what the price will be. So, in short, you took my limbs from me as the price of our deal. Now, that's strange, isn't it? I made that deal to become the ceremonial pianist, correct? But now I can't even pi play piano, must less fulfill that role as the cer at the ceremony. Not at all. Your wish was to kill the president of Stella Stage. All that ceremonial pianist business was a reason for murder. Nothing to do with the deal. Oh. Devils make deals with souls, not money. That's just how dangerous we are to humans. Probably starting to figure it out, right? That's exactly why Sibylla tricked you into making the deal yourself. Burrows and Sibylla both used you. Uh, why are you here? What are you doing here? I thought our deal was over and done with. Yes, it's done. Our first deal, to kill the president of Stella's stage. First deal? You wished for something else. You said... Help me. I took that as a second deal, a second wish. I fished you out, patched you up, and came here. I threw in those prosthetic, prosthetic legs to make things at least a little more convenient. Be grateful. I said, be grateful. Out with it. Um, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I like Karen. Uh, where are the clothes I was wearing? Perhaps it's just me, but it would appear I'm wearing new clothes. I went looking for the closest matching clothes I could find to get you dressed, since the old ones were blood-soaked and ragged and wet. Th then that means you saw me? I saw you. Well, you say you dressed me, and not only that, you touched me? You utter pervert! How could you do such a thing to a pure lady? Right, sure, that stuff. Relax. Devils have zero interest in seeing humans nude. A kid like you's got even less to worry about. I'm a in a hundred years or so, maybe. Why, you- You're like some kind of devil! Wait, that's because I am? Clear bonus, yay. Well, I have a better understanding of where things stand now. If so, then out of the way. Don't make me stand around talking any longer. Alright, bye, Karen. 
Actually, I'm gonna let you sit down and talk to you. So do you understand the situation you're in yet? Not yet. Okay, um... I guess, yes. I do. Oh no, I've sat. Now I'll never get up again. I haven't been able to process everything. But I do understand my current situation, and I've figured out the reason you pulled me out of the ocean and are here with me now. Have you now? Well, let's see if you got it right. I mean, he told you. You're going to make me pay for the second contract. You saved my life, so you're going to tell me to pay with my life. Isn't that right? <laughs> Incorrect, little girl. Huh? I wouldn't engage in such a pointless deal. You see, a devil's deal must be darker in nature. Humans gambling with their souls to get ahead it must be foolish, hideous, laughable. Tear off an arm for wealth, give up life for happiness. Such foolish desires define our deals. Humans snuggling piles of gold, with their bodies are taken apart and bloodied. What a show. But look at Russell and Sibylla, using loopholes. And you, not even knowing what a devil is, is first. You're all spoiling the fun! Stop messing around, humans! Fear devils more! Dread us! What? Why are you getting cross with me after taking off my lens? You should stop messing around! You make no sense at all! If it's that important to you, you should make sure of it beforehand! I did ask you! I asked if it was your will to kill someone by way of a devil's deal! I to understand that. You should have made it clear. You airheaded millennium. You blustering bird brain. I am not a bird. I am a devil. Yeah, close enough. You know what? Fine. You're both fooled into an unwanted deal. I'll cancel the contract, so please return my limbs. Idiot. Things aren't that simple. No one returns from the dead, and you can't cancel the contract. Oh. Whoopsie. So you're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. Scars and all. That's... that's awful. Without my limbs, I can't even play the piano. I didn't even imagine it would go like this. I just wanted to be the best pianist, that's all I wanted. I have good news for you. What? I'm not a heartless machine. I have some flexibility. You wish to kill the president of Stella Stage, but you were forced into it, yes? Yes, that's right, or at least I was tricked into it. If you knew you would lose your limbs, you wouldn't have made the deal? Of course not! All right, then it was an unfair deal. You can't cancel it, but I'll give you a chance. If you defeat the puppet master who tricked you into this, I'll refund the price you paid. Puppet master? You mean... Russell Burroughs. He may pretend to be a good person, but he's Laplace's greatest villain. This contract of yours, it had nothing to do with you becoming the big pianist. The president of Stella's stage was cutting into Burroughs' profits. That's all. He made up some stories to convince you and rubbed out the president with a devil's deal. I assume that was his plan. So then, you're asking me to fight against Mayor Burroughs. I'm telling you to take revenge. Get back at the vile mayor who used you, crush the throne built from his victim's bones. Revenge. You wished for me to help you, right? That contract is live until you get your revenge. I'll be honest, I'm beside myself with rage over how they're exploiting the noble devil's contract. To get your revenge and regain your limbs, you're going to need my might. And to crush this absurd contract, I need the other party. You. Can't say I'm a fan of the 
arrangement, but we need each other to get what we want. I can't forgive them. That's right. You can't forgive Burroughs or Sibylla. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Going to what? Let me hear your hatred. Go ask him directly. This girl. Oh my gosh. What? I can see him in his mansion, right? What? Come on! The mayor's residence is their HQ! You're going to go right into the lion's den? I would simply go to ask some questions. It's perfectly clear to me now, you really do lack a brain. They think you're dead, remember? Say you killed someone for knowing too much. Then they came up to your door like, Hi, it's me! You would totally, definitely, absolutely be killed this time. Forget it! But still, I can't believe anything until I talk to the mayor directly. It's hard to believe he's a villain. No one in Laplace would believe such a thing. You're so brainwashed. No wonder Russell marked you as a target. You don't have to follow me if you don't want to. I don't even know if you're telling me the truth. If I let you go alone, you'll be killed on sight, and I won't be able to overwrite your tr contract. <sighs> Fine. But only this time. If you don't take revenge on Burroughs, I won't have any reason to help you. But I can't let you die now. I'll help you sneak into the mayor's mansion just this once. So she's like 13, right? Just a baby. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, I was worried that was like the end of the season. I was like, what? That's it? How are your new legs? I can manage if I walk slowly. Too bad you don't have arms to break your fall if you trip. You're just going to enjoy it, aren't you? You don't need to go out of your way to be upsetting. You open yourself up to it. Because you're acting insane. Well, I need to hear it directly from the man himself. I can't sort myself out otherwise. I need to know if Mayor Burroughs really did deceive me. You're out of your mind. This man fooled you and tried to kill you, and you're willfully going to go see him. Alone. Whatever you think, the, tr the truth isn't changing. But that's what will shut you up, little girl. Well, Sir Ketty. That's my name, Devil Karen. Stop calling me you, little girl. It's rude. That's too long. Can't even remember the last name. Listen, Noel. Bros is in his mansion. First, we'll have to bypass the guards in the park. Man, they're having me save a lot. Oh boy. I have to get there. I think. Save no. Mission start. During missions, Noelle moves around as an NPC. So you can- so you control Karen instead. Oh, okay. Karen should watch over and help her if she seems to have any trouble. Protecting her is your duty. Seems Noelle wants to say something. What do you want to say? I see a guard. The mayor's house is the most important place in the city. It is under strict surveillance 24-7. Even your feeble mind should understand that if we're caught, we're done. I mean, you're done. I'm a devil, so I'm probably fine. Why sneak around? Can't you snap your fingers and be done with it like the other night? The devil can only use a miracle like that at the moment of a legitimate contract. It would be possible if you were to form another contract with me. I think I owe you enough. We'll have to slip by unseen, hiding in the shadows as we go forward. But look at my legs! I can hardly dash or sneak around. Why am I babysitting a suicidal girl again? I'll hold you up. Try not to trip. Should be faster than you hobbling alone. Noel can only walk slowly, and there are many places she can't get to. At times when you must proceed quickly, Karen should help keep Noel steady. Okay, okay. I mean, 
that's pretty straightforward. Okay. Stealth bonus, yay! I will save, thank you. I hope things keep going smoothly. I'm getting mentally worn out here. Oh? Who's there? Th they found us! Your carefree strolls landed us in hot water. I'll take them out before they sound the alarm. Noelle is fragile and can't hope to fight the enemy. Karen, however, is a different story. Karen won't lose in a fight with a human. Body slam your foes before they reach Noelle. Don't forget, Karen is Noelle's shield. No matter what, don't let the enemy touch Noelle. Okay, how do I how do I fight? Oh, I just I just attack them. Okay. Impress how impressive. Humans are short work for a devil, I see. Glad to do your dirty work. Fighting directly isn't exactly my forte. Regardless, humans are no match for me. The fight after fight will take its toll. So you're not actually that strong. That's a touch disappointing. You're the last person I want to hear that from. And let me clear this up before you get the wrong idea. My assistance is temporary. And it's only because of our contract. We are not friends. Uh, I know. Good. What's this? Ointment. Okay. If you find a white glowing box, it's a first aid kit. It'll restore Karen's health. Great. I keep accidentally hitting it. Okay, there we go. I need to be there. The mansion's coming to view. We're almost there. Just out of curiosity, how are you planning on breaking in again? Well, obviously, we'd find some window that isn't locked and sneak in through there or something. Then we shouldn't be uh, here in front. We'll have to go to the back of the building. You see the alleyway in front of us? That'll lead to th that'll lead us to the back. See, let's be off. Wait, have you lost your mind? Hold on a second. What is it? Can't you see the searchlight shining on the path? Uh, oh. Oh my. So that was not simply atmospheric lightning. Lighting, then. You have to be choking. And you're the one who suggested breaking into the mayor's mansion. Listen, we don't do anything about that searchlight. We're stuck. It seems the searchlight is up on the roof. Looks like I'll have to climb up and deal with it myself. Well, certainly, but... Are you going to climb up there? It would be a simple task for me alone, as simple as me infiltrating the mansion. There's no point if I'm not the one inside. I know, I know. That's why I'm dealing with this light. Now then, are there any good spots to climb? If Karen can strike enemies from behind, he'll execute a back attack. This will let you take down most enemies without damage. Try it if uh, try for it if the chance arises. What's up? Can't do anything about that searchlight. I know. I'll have to deal with it. Now then, is there anywhere that I can climb? Is he turning? Yes, he is. Okay. So I'll wait. Back attack! Ooh, I can climb here. Not too high. I can easily go up there. Karen is quick and nimble. He can jump over some obstacles and holes. A symbol will indicate if you can jump. To jump, press the arrow keys or touch in direction. Uh, there. Okay. Seems a little high to jump. I'll have to use my chain. Karen can summon his devil's chain to use for uh, various actions. In this case, he can use it to climb, but it can prove useful for many situations. A symbol will also indicate chain actions. Again, press the arrow keys or touch in a direction. Grappling hook! Grappling hook! Sweet. Here, I'll just, you know, I'll save. Okay. The god's not paying attention to the searchlight. I could attack him from behind, but I probably don't need to. Let me do what I have to first. Okay. 
I've got to open a path to the alley to the back. I'll move it left towards the front door. Okay. Great. That was easy. This will do. Alright, time to go around the back. Just how did a great devil like myself end up being this little girl's errand boy? Okay, Re real quick though, there was a thing. So, uh, I want to get it. I'm going to take him out. I can, and so I will. Back attack. Obtained Mystic Ointment. Great. Alright, we're done with here. Okay, let me not walk into the light. Let's keep moving. This isn't a picnic, princess. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm stuck with her. She's stupid. What do you want? Look, an open window. On the second floor. I can get up there, but sur surely you can't now, can you? Hmm. Wait, there is a way. Alright, I'll go up first. Huh? Wait, if you go up there, what am I supposed to do? Don't worry, I'll make it there first, then pull you up. Pull me up? Surely you can see I don't have arms. You took them, remember? I'll tie you up with my chain and pull you that way. D tie me up with your chain? Granted, we are attempting a break-in, but who ties a girl in chains and drags her around? Enough with the whining. I'm trying to help you here. I won't have this. I will not. A Sir Kenny girl- A Sir Kenny cannot stand for something so ungraceful. You're being far less graceful right now. Look, just stay put. I'll drag you up. A devil should conduct himself with more grace and panache. I, can, I can't get up on my own. To get Noelle upstairs, Karen has to go first, then drag Noelle up to the second floor. Thus, you'll, you need a foothold for Karen and Noelle in a clear spot for pulling her up. In short, find the proper positions for both the foothold and the tantrum baby Noelle. <laughs> tantrum baby. Push Noelle. Just push her. Uh. There we go. Um. Uh, no. Container? What container? This container? What? What? Huh? Huh? I'm confused. Okay. I kind of understand. I don't understand. I'm confused. I want to roll Noel near the air conditioner and use the container as a foothold. Yeah, I, I kind of got that. Ah, oh, crap. But now she's in my way. You're the one who threw herself on the floor. I'll help you open up. Pull you upstairs. Except I kind of need to. You need to move again. I. 
Yes. I know what I need to do, I just keep pressing it wrong. Okay. Um, you're in my way. Get out of the way. I need to set this first. Okay, and then I need her over here. Nice of them to have a reset button for inevitably messing up. Okay. I misunderstood what they wanted us to do. Okay, hold still. Uh, are you quite sure about this? Is, th is it safe? It's not that high. Stop being so afraid all the time. Huh. Ah! Huh. Looks like I caught a big one. Ouch, that hurt, you know. You could have at least pulled me up gently. If you latched onto the chain right, I might have been able to oblige. <sighs> Security's tight around the mansion, but we should be fine once inside. He may be a public figure, but this is his private res residence. Can't imagine there'd be much security. So, we're finally here. If you want to hear the truth from him, do what you want. But don't drop your guard. Like I told you before, he thinks you're dead. He finds out you're still alive. We'll see about all that when when we see him. Let's go. Uh, common ointment. Ooh, okay, so those are heals. That's that's good to have. Good thing I picked that up. Ah! I didn't get... Man, I mean... Anyway. Obtain a new stance called Bodyguard. Equip it on Karen in the menu to buff his stats. Whenever you get new stances, try equipping them onto Karen. Okay. Okay. I have done it. He is a bodyguard now. I mean, he always was, but... Sure enough, it's quiet here. It seems no one is around. Let's find out which room the mayor is in while it's quiet. The third floor. Huh? On the third floor to the re left, directly above us. That's where his private room is located. I... I see. How do you know so much about this place? Anyone can look up the floor plan of the mansion. Guess you didn't know your own advantages. You don't have to say it out loud. Come on, let's move. There aren't any guards about, but we could still run into someone. Ah! What was... What in... Never mind. No turning back now. Let's go. It's a little spooky in here, is it not? I I'm not scared. Follow me. Ooh. Drink. I'm ready. I'm not. Hold on. Oh, that's not allowed. It said save no. Okay. No save for me. This must be Burrow's private room. Let's go. Oh, there's the save. Okay. They're very kind about the saves. I appreciate it. Who's there? <laughs> How do you do, Mayor Burrows? Little girl came back from hell to see you. Ah. I see what's going on here, then. I assume you saved her, Karen. That was the contract I made with her. A contract, you say? <laughs> I see, I see. Well, Noel, what do you want with me? Here in the middle of the night, with no appointment. I'd like to know what happened at that abandoned building. I want to hear it from you. 
This devil says you tricked and exploited me. I myself remember Sibylla doing a terrible thing. But, well, that is to say, has there been some kind of mistake? Oh. Perhaps this devil manipulated or tricked you? Or maybe it was all Sibylla, then no fault of yours. I mean, you're Mayor Russell Burroughs, the most famous, beloved person in Laplace. On the day of the competition, too, you were so nice, cheering me up. Mm. I mean, she's giving him every out. Noel. Is that what you came all this way to ask me? Because if it is, you really are a stupid girl. What? I really can't catch a break, can I? The scapegoat I ordered killed is alive and well, here with a devil to try to kill me. And of all the devils, too. I'm a busy man, you see. I don't like wasting time on done deals. His tiny eyes. Certainly Sibylla made some missteps, but I must admit my surprise at your being here. Noelle Cerchetti, I'll give you an exclusive glimpse at the true colors of Russell Burroughs. Uh... You wanna know why we exploited you? It's simple. To make you pay the price. Did your devil explain all that to you already? You need to pay a price to form a contract. Which means the number of deals a human can make is limited. Usually one. Three, at most. But look at me. I've used those contracts to get what I want, and I don't have a scratch on me. Because you served as my scapegoat and paid for me. Rather rotten of you. A shred of dignity. Listen, a devil's contract is between one human and one devil. I haven't broken that rule. Noelle made her wish voluntarily for me. It just happened to be mine, too. What? The stance. But Laplace was saved from the ruthless Stella stage. That's a fact, isn't it? Laplace? Saved. Uh, I forgive the indiscretion. What did Sibylla tell you? That Stella Stage has ties to a contestant, or they're trying to control Laplace with money? Whatever it was, it was all nonsense. All to convince you to do this, of course. Well, that is fine. If so, I think it's about time for you to go back to being dead. When did you... I'm just as powerful as you are now, but... It always pays to be careful. What? What do you... You're just as foolish, Karen. That needless pride, that sympathy for the scapegoat. A shame that's going to get you killed. That... That can't be. <laughs> the mayor, he's... Not that kind of a person. Ah. Uh. Before you die, here's a little secret. Why would I speak with a common citizen such as you? Don't you dare. After the competition, I told you there was a change in the final decision for some reason. Well, that part wasn't a lie. It's true. So why the change? What happened? I told you to stop. It's simple, really. I made it happen. You kids practice so hard every day to be the featured pianist, and you, you were the proudest of the bunch. If anyone was willing to take a devil's deal, it would be you. Thank you, Noelle Cerchetti. Your lifelong passion and efforts made you so easy to manipulate. Don't listen to him. Run! Kill them! Time to leave. Run to the window on the right side of this floor. We'll jump to the road from there. Don't think, just run. Damn it, come on! This is very bad. Noelle's in shock and can't move. Karen will have to drag her and force her along. We're in a tough spot with foes pouring in. Avoid battles, prioritize escaping. Uh, run! Ooh, 
Okay. Hey, get it together. There. Change the... Then... Why did I... I knew this would happen. That's why I didn't want to come. Ugh. Karen! Ooh, who are you? Grenade guy. It's with this guy. A bomb. You thought you could kill a devil with that. Isn't there something about a bomb? I don't remember. Listen, you're not allowed to die. Not until you cancel the first contract. We're almost there. Come on. Can I... Can I heal, please? I think I was fine, but anyway. Run! Run! Ugh, run! Hang on, we're jumping off. They jumped from the third floor. Are the guards downstairs to stop them? They're already out on the street. We can't chase them anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. It's like 2 a.m. Wait for the mayor's orders. Well, no recovery, but I just healed because you told me to. You stopped my phone. And so Noelle Cerchetti realized that she had been exploited, tricked, and betrayed by the mayor. Perhaps betrayed is not the right word. It was all just an illusion from the start. They got away. Even if they corner them, your guards can't take a great devil. They're just humans wearing armor, after all. <laughs> you might be right. So now it's my turn, right, Burroughs? You need my bombs and my... demon's flame, don't you? Right you are. I can always rely on you. Go play with your fire, demon bomber. Wow, that's a lame name. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I haven't had a big catch like him in a while. Better pay me some big bucks for this. Well then. I'll remind you, just in case. Your target is Noelle. Don't let Karen make you lose sight of that. We can take care of that kid after. We gotta target the devil following her around. Can you be sure about that? Underestimating her will get you hurt. Who knows? We may get a chance to fight a demon as well. Say what? Demons and devils. No one will find us here. It's dawn. It seems the city is pretty quiet. He still has to maintain his position as the mayor, so I guess he wouldn't make any big moves. I told you, didn't I? I that you'd be devastated when Burroughs told you the truth. Remember what I told you yesterday. The only way to get your limbs back. Take away everything Burroughs has to cancel your first wish. That will regain your limbs. Be revenge on Burroughs and clear my reputation. Simply make the decision and I'll help with your revenge. As per the second contract. So, are you prepared to fight Burroughs? What a waste of breath. I know you're in shock, but we don't have time. Rose is making deals with devils. You know the secret, and yet you're alive. He's coming for you. I'm sure they're already searching. I need some fresh air. Alright. I'll follow you just in case. Who knows if anything will happen, but a devil can't openly walk around. As you like. This is such sad music.
We could go to a gremlin shop. I'm absolutely going to gr Oh my gosh! Welcome, welcome. I'm the shop manager here. You pay me in pee rather than money. Pay with the fruits of your labor. I'm no devil. Nope. I'm just an ordinary human. So blow your money. I mean, enjoy shopping. Oh my gosh. Two fights worth of damage. Ooh. Well, I already have ointment. Yeah, I'll buy one. Come again! I love this design so much. I'm gonna draw this one day. This is adorable. This is great. 10 out of 10. I love the gremlin. I knew I would. They're a gremlin. Okay, we're in the north slums. Okay, can we... Hello again. Slums accept misfits. Don't look so down. Your arms must be tough to live like that. My friend lost an arm to disease. I'm in no position to take care of anyone, but do your best. Oh, I'm gonna go to the south first. So I guess she trusts them now. She's like, eh. I'm not uppity anymore. The only that store looks weird. I don't even know what they sell in there. He says he doesn't accept money, only pee. What's pee? Some slang I don't know? The poverty here. The bombings downtown. I don't think Burroughs is improving this city at all. Fountain is dirty. I'm not allowed to go there. Sealed frames, abandoned. Oh, I see that was that was the south. Okay. Gonna have a nice look outside. Remember, a day ago? All these things that have happened. The mayor that I didn't know personally at all lied to me. Too many things have happened in such a short time. If I hadn't listened to Mayor Burroughs that day, if I had refused Sibylla's offer in the, ba the abandoned building, now look at me. I have no arms or legs. I can't play the piano. And they're trying to kill me. And it's all my fault. All my selfishness. I can curse my own foolishness, but I have no right to blame Mayor Burroughs, Sibylla, or Karen. What the? What's going on? There's a fire downtown. That's probably no accident. Where's your house? My house? Why do you ask? I figure it's your house that blew up. They'd attack your family or kidnap someone close to lure you out, right? Don't be so scary with such a straight face. My house is uptown and far from the fire. The downtown, wait, only Jillian, my friend, lives there, and I rarely go visit. <laughs> so you're a rich girl, then. No wonder your last name is so hard to say. I've heard rumors of a, bat a mad bomber downtown recently. This may be his work. Bad news indeed. Burroughs must have some underworld connections. If we're fighting him, we're fighting them. I haven't decided if I want to go up against the mayor, so don't act like I have. I must hold myself accountable. Revenge? Do I even have the- No, wait a minute. An explosion downtown. Are you close to Jillian? They'd attack your family or kidnap someone close to lure you out, right? Julian, you're from downtown, if I recall. Indeed, many who study music have rich families. Rip Jillian. Hey, what's wrong? Karen, take me there right now. 
downtown. Why? My friend may be in danger. My friend that I suddenly care about again. They may have kidnapped her because of me. Are you asking me this as a part of our second contract to help get revenge on Burroughs? If so, I'll gladly take you. But if it has nothing to do with your revenge, I can't help you. That's... I can't say if it's revenge yet. You could say I'm revenge curious, but I'm not quite sure if I'm willing to commit to revenge at this point in my life. There's a lot going on right now. You're too honest. If you're in such a rush, any old lie would have done it just fine. If I let you go alone, you'll just get captured by the police, and that'll be the end of that. If you're in a hurry, forget about roads. We'll make a beeline jumping across the rooftops. So you're helping me anyway. Are you going to help me then? I've got an appreciation for people who take their contracts seriously. I don't need an answer right now, but hurry up on that decision about your revenge. What are you intending to do? Jump? Only thing we can do. Jump! Boing? Yippee! You remember when we broke into the mayor's residence, right? I can jump over small holes and short steps, so I'll go ahead and then make a path for you. Quickest way. We won't bump into anyone. Thank you. Do you know exactly where your friend's house is? I have been to our house a few times. I'll have no problem recalling where it is. Alright, let's go. Alright, it's good to know what the P is for. So I don't have to stress about it too much. So I can make mistakes. Mayor Burroughs must have known where Jillian's house was, and the fact that we're close... Huh. <sighs> oh. Yes. I can't pass like this. Uh. I'm trying to be smart. That's all I had to do. Can't pass like this. worked. That's not too bad. Breakthrough! No mistake bonus! Whoopee! That must be why they have to be saved so much if you want to get all the, the P for all the puzzles. P stands for puzzle- I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. Are we going to move ahead from this point? Good question. Uh... Now we're in a hurry, but that's not an excuse to go through people's apartments. What's it to you? We broke into the mayor's pa uh, place. Nowhere's more dangerous and unwise than that. Alright, I get the point. If there's no one home, let's just go through quickly. Ooh, what's in here? Not the stealing type. I'm a devil, but I have standards. <laughs> you shouldn't rummage through people's stuff. I'm touch nervous. An evil cat. Ugh. Oh, what a cute kitty cat. Don't like cats. We just don't get along. Wait, truly now? But he's so cute and harmless. Oh, they're not harmless. For some reason, they always hiss at me. See? Never trust a cat. I knew I liked Karen. That's strange. Perhaps they think you look like, a, like lunch, your head being so bird-like. I am no bird. I'm a devil. But if he wants to hunt me, I'll have to bring the war to him. Don't be ridiculous. Come now, only a devil would attack an innocent kitty. I am a devil. 
Enough of this nonsense. Just refrain from scaring the cat. Understood. Damn cat. I want them to fight. <laughs> all right, all right, no rummaging. What's up? Can't pass like this. Okay. Uh. A fence is the perfect size. Let's use this as a bridge. Huh. And here's our bridge. I'm glad you thought of that, because I wasn't thinking of it at all. Stay soon. Ah, wait a second. Hunt this again. You catch on quick. Well, you have done it once before. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm getting used to this fishing business. Ouch, that hurts, you know. Can't you be more gentle about it? I'm all bruised because you pulled me up too roughly last time. Your lucky bruises were all you've got with guards all around us. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. You protected me while we were escaping. Now is not the time for this conversation. Look, you dying on me is bad for business, that's all. Don't get all sentimental. Are your wounds alright? I just said, don't get sentimental. I'm a great devil. It'll take a lot more than that to stop me. Anyway, the smoke's getting thicker. We must be getting closer. You're right. I know this area. Well, let's get going. You're in a hurry, right? Y yes, let's be off. They're both too nice. No mistake, yay! Whoopee! I'm so smart. Let me guess, that's Jillian's house. Ooh can't get any closer. We don't want anyone to see us, much less the cops. From the look on your face, I'm guessing it's just as you feared. Is that your friend's house? Yes. That's Jillian's house. Hmm. So the bomber's connected to Mayor Burroughs. That means this was a trap to lure me up- uh, lure me here. They hurt someone close to make me show up. I'd imagine they went with Jillian over- Went with Jillian over your family because they can't hit the rich and powerful. I have to at least know she's safe. If something happened to her, I... You will run headfirst into danger at any given opportunity. Oh boy. Alright, I'll go ahead and check. I'll eavesdrop on the cops too. Just stay put, got it? They might know your face as a missing person. Put a bag over your head or something. You kind of stand out without no arms. Do -do -do. When I'm alone, I worry and overthink everything. I never expected anything like this to happen. It's my fault that Jillian was caught up in the, all this. I should have been Burrow's only target. But I told him that I'm close to Jillian, and now he's using her to get to me. No, in fact... If I just died after the first contract, this wouldn't have happened. Or if I died in the mayor's mansion. After all, I'm a murderer who made a deal with the devil. If it meant only I got hurt, I could simply reap what I've sown. But I resisted. What if Jillian died in the explosion? If others are hurt because of my decision, if my best friend is harmed by my tantrum, if she dies, then even my death won't wash that away. Ow! Ah, my bad. My bad. What what was that all about? I have a very bad feeling. Wait, have I seen him before? Huh? Something ended up in my dress. A letter. What should I do? I should check using my hands! What hands? 
<laughs> I have no choice. I don't care if it's poor etiquette. I have to use my mouth. Why don't you wait for Karen? He probably poisoned it. Finally got it open. What in the world is this? This... It says... I'm back. The family was sent to the hospital. But they couldn't find the oldest daughter, Jillian Littner. Worst case, she was blown away by the bomb. Wait. What are you doing on the ground? The... This... What's that in your mouth? A letter? Where did you... I leave you for five minutes. If you don't want to see your friend get hurt, come to the abandoned steelworks in 24 hours. The bomber. How did you get this? A, a stranger bumped into me earlier, and I noticed the letter in my dress. I probably don't need to ask this, but it wasn't Burroughs, right? He was wearing a mask. Given his voice and aura, I doubt he was Mayor Burroughs. Makes sense. In chess, the king doesn't go to the front line. The bomber. He must be the one. What will you do? This is clearly a provocation. We'll definitely get a warm welcome if we go. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a tank. You may be right. But I can't leave Jillian in their filthy hands. That's unacceptable. I can't sacrifice Jillian to save my own skin. So you're going to rescue Jillian, even though you know your life will be in danger. You mean sacrifice yourself to rescue Jillian, don't you? Uh... I don't understand your hesitation about taking revenge. If you're ready to sacrifice yourself, why hesitate? Don't you want to get payback? Well, as you will. Either way, you have no choice. If you're rescuing her, you'll have to fight. Because it's not like they'll release Jillian the moment you show up. W why not? Mayor Burroughs has no reason to kill her. She's the chosen pianist. It's the other way around. He has no reason to keep her safe and alive. Remember, to capture her, he hired the bomber to blow up her house. Oh, right. I won't tell you to decide your whole future right now. But if you want to help Jillian, there's no avoiding fighting the bomber. Be ready for that. You know, you're right. Our first priority is to rescue Jillian. Karen, let's go to the abandoned steelworks. In 24 hours. Nice of him to give us time. I'm expecting we'll have a tough fight ahead. Even if we're short on time, we should prepare. Stock up, then we'll head to the old steelworks. We'll leave through the south slums. Gather your belongings and head towards steelworks. Hold on, let me just grab everything. gonna grab everything, all my stuff. You know, with my hands. Oh, gremlin! Welcome! Um... I've got 23. Uh... No, let's just take two. I think that's safe. Come again! towards the steelworks. I don't know where that is. Where's the steelworks? Is it? Ah! Down here. What do we have for the abandoned steelworks? After we save. Yippee! Did that say two hours? Oh, it's because it's been running for a while. I had a long setup. Alright, let's go. Also, recently found out that my memory on my computer is absolute awful. Um, so... It'll work to see if I can upgrade that sometime soon. Maybe streams will be a lot better. Maybe I'll be able to play Baldur's Gate. Who knows? <laughs> Here we are. 
Be careful. We have no idea what's waiting for us. The law has no meaning in this part of town. Yeah. That's right, this is my territory. Never know what could happen, see? Oh gosh, he's, he's one of those. Here he comes. Oh, it's him! He's the one who gave me the letter! How do you do? No, well, Sir Kitty. And Great Devil Karen. Did you read my love letter? I'm deeply pleased to meet you both. Hey, I saw you at the Mayor's Palace. Where's Jillian? Is she alive? She has nothing to do with this. Release her at once. Chill out. She's still breathing. The hostage has got to be alive, right? Say, things were pretty heavy at the mansion. So I didn't catch it at the time. But I can sense something from you. Could you be... Name's Fugo Dressel. But everyone calls me Bomber. I do kind of like your, your style as well. Hold on, I'm like trying to figure out what you're doing with your legs here. Okay. Demon of explosion. Okay. Your devil has a good scent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your devil has a good nose, so he already knows. I'm a demon. One who sold his soul to a devil. Just like you, Noel Sir Kenny. So how about we be friends? A, a demon? Named for people who sell their souls to devils. I'm proud of it, you see. D demon. Every demon has a demon name. As a lover ex of explosions, I got an unburning body. So they call me Bomber. Hugo, the Bomber. And you, Noel? What are you talking about? I'm asking about your demon name. You're with the devil, so you sold your soul. Right. Let's hear your demon name. That's etiquette when two demons fight. He's been itching for a demon fight ever since he became a demon. I, I don't have any extra names, and I don't care. Just release Jillian. Lame. So you're just a wimp. You almost told me I might go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another demon. But look at you. You're just a kid. No wonder I didn't feel anything walking by you in the alley. Should I have just killed you back then? Nah, that would have caused too much commotion. I'm pretty famous downtown now. See, I'm starving. I've burned so much stuff, but humans die too easily. It ain't satisfying. I wanna blow up a devil. Some powerful, supernatural. I wanna sear it with these bombs. How's the devil going to burn and scream? What color do you guys burn? Come on, tell me. You guys are insane. There's no reason reasoning with him. <laughs> you know as well as I do that society rejects those who deal with devils as monsters. Come on, Noel. Fight if you want your friend back, or stick that devil of yours on me. Because if you can't, I'm making you and your friend Ash. Jillian won't hold on much longer as long as she's in his hands. You're telling me. Let's go after him and take down his arrogant ass. Come on. Uh, Alright. Fun, fun, fun. Who are these people? Bomber's men. Oh, thank you. I shouldn't need to say it, but stay behind me. Uh, okay, I will. I'll make sure to stay out of your way. I'll do my best to keep them away from you. Now let's go. I am impressed and grateful. Karen has to protect Noel at all times. Don't get too far from Noel, even if it's to fight. Some enemies will ignore Karen and go straight after Noel. If you're having difficulty protecting Noel, stay close so you can shield her better. This is dim and dan dangerous. You never know where the enemy might appear. I know, that's why I'm, like, sticking to you so close that your dialogue keeps popping up. Uh. Item. Uh, Destroyer. I know there's so many of them, but I'm more worried about Jillian than myself. Let's hurry. You may have already noticed that some enemies don't die in one shot. You can distinguish enemy types by appearance. It will greatly help to- it will help greatly to know which is which. Quite smart by using everything at your disposal. Items, new stances, and back attacks. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna start with one who focuses on protecting others. Gives me one life. I'm gonna start with one who focuses on defeating one's foes. When life goes down. And my attack doesn't change. Grants critical hit chance. I don't trust those. Let's just stick with that. Thank goodness. A door? It has no keyhole. This hallway is blocked by metal gates. Not a very sophisticated security system. Once we pull down all the levers, we will be able to open the gates easily by hand. Easily by hand, you say? Look, you know what I mean. Get off my back. Doesn't seem to be any other path. I'll have to go up and look for the levers. Found them! They're downstairs! Ah, that scared me. Can't let ourselves get trapped in this narrow hallway. Let's open the gates and go in. Hold on a second. What do I do if Bomber's men show up while you're looking for levers up there? If I sense the enemy, I'll come right back. So just stay put. Put. It won't take that long. Okay. It will take that long. I'm not allowed to save. Ooh. Um... Lever. Karen, the enemy is coming from the left. Come back. <clears throat> nice try, Buckarino. But that's not happening. Power lever. Something unlocked. Karen, the enemy's coming from the right. Back attack! Haha! <laughs> I was smart this time. I can't unlock it without arms. I mean, that's fair. Mystic ointment. Great. No recovery bonus. Okay. Well. I'm never gonna get those, so we'll just throw that out for now. Oh, goody. I'm so excited for this. Noel, don't be stupid. Is this dangerous path really the only way? It'd be fine if we avoid the sparks. I'll help you keep balance. We're in a hurry, right? I, I guess we have no choice. Super easy, actually. Ow, ow, ow. Never mind, it's not super easy. I need to pay attention. Uh. Mm. Let's just do that to be safe. Okay, I'm gonna watch this a few times. Oh my gosh. How do you... Well, goodbye, Mystic Ointment. I just had to be patient. That's my problem. No recovery button. Yeah, 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 it's not happening. Good gravy. All my mystic ointment is gone. So sad. Hey, what's wrong? 
Uh, I think that I have no right to take revenge. I think this is the worst time to have this conversation. I've been thinking about it. Bros tricked me into making a deal with you. I lost my limbs. I lost the ability to play piano. If that was all there was to it, I'd be a victim, yes. And I would be furious at Mayor Burroughs. But that isn't all. I went to the abandoned building that night, hopeful that I'd become the ceremonial pianist. Even if Sibylla was lying to me, my desire was genuine. On the very day my best friend was chosen for it, I am sure that was not what I should have done. Mm. And while that is awful and selfish on its own, it was my fault I was tricked, that I ran away. And worst of all, I dragged poor Jillian into this. And even now, here I am, running away from Burroughs, considering fighting. Am I not just constantly blaming everyone else for all my mistakes? Acting like a little child? I have no right to take revenge. What a shameless thing to think. It would almost be better to die, so I wouldn't hurt anyone else. Like a little child, huh? No. You're worse than a little kid. You're just running away because you don't want to think anymore. If you're really sorry about dragging Jillian into this, then you know what to do. Tell her yourself. Are you going to just take your leave after all the trouble you've caused? Are you going to just add another layer of selfishness to the pile? What? Listen, you're thinking far too modestly. Jillian aside, Burroughs exploited you. No need to think whether you have the right to revenge. You're somebody who'd make a deal with the devil for her dreams. What happened to that ego? That ego caused people a lot of trouble. Better than being down on yourself and saying you're better off dead. If someone gets hurt because of you, swallow your pride and help them, whether you like it or not. Unfortunately for you, I'm a devil. Human virtues don't suit me. You're certainly right about that. You're always needlessly smug. I've earned it. I'm a great devil. And I'm from great wealth myself. <laughs> anyway, just focus on beating Bomber for now. You can stew over everything as much as you want after you rescue Jillian. You know, you're right. Rescuing her is all I can do. Let's be off. Yippee! Time to die! Oh boy. Well, good to know there's help. attack. Ow, 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 ow. What's up? Is this a dead end? I don't think so. Remember how we got here? I'll go up first and pull you up with my chain. Again? Look, I really hate that. It hurts a lot, you know. Then what do you want me to do? Find another path? Or... I know. Since this is a steelworks, there may be a lift somewhere. I think it'd be a lot faster to pull you up than go on a wild goose chase. We may be in a hurry, but you must handle a fragile girl like me with care. Fine, fine. That's where you're going in, we care. Don't understand machines. I'll just randomly push these buttons. Hey, this is no time to play around. Hmm. Wait. This looks perfect. Huh? Get Noelle to the destination. Catch Noelle. Huh? Cotter. Hey! Don't worry. I'll put you down gently. Don't fidget too much. You'll fall. Oh, come on.
Yay. Whoopsie. Alright. Time to head back to her. I guess. Okay. That was practically the same as pulling me up with your chain. Really? I attempted to pull you up as gently as possible. Look, we're almost a bomber. Quit fooling around and, give and ready yourself. Uh, I know. Are you going to be okay? I mean, after all this, you're the one who'll fight Barn. What are you simpering about? You just need to give the order. Take him out. That's it. If the fight's part of your revenge, I'll see it through on my devil's pride. That's the chain we're bound by, the contract we're locked into. Got that, Noel Cerchetti? You may have no arms to fight with, but you can stand proud on those legs I gave you. Uh, Alright, I'm counting on you. I can't move forward without rescuing Jillian. Gremlin Core Bending Machine. Oh, it's there if I want to buy anything. Yes, I do. Bomber, the demon. I sense he's an enemy the likes of which we haven't encountered before. Oh, goody. And no save for me. Okay. You can sense something foreboding beyond this door. Go inside. Let's go! They won't let me save, so, you know. Now loading. Surprising that they didn't let me save first. You're here! Jillian! Ooh, she looks not so hot. Relax, she's still breathing. Though, if you leave her like that, who knows? I had no idea where you were, so I went all out to get your attention. Looks like I used a bit too much gunpowder downtown, though. <laughs> I will never forgive you. If it's me you're after, you should have only targeted me. But to harm someone with no involvement, you and Burroughs are just both cowards. Oh, she was involved, all right. She was the perfect bait to bring you here. But right now, I don't care about you. I'll blow you up later, so sit tight. The you, Karen. The great devil. Now this, I don't like. You seem to think you can win simply having made a contract with a devil. I'll have to teach you a lesson. Play with fire and you get burned. But right now, I don't care about Burroughs. This is my battle. Name's Fugo Dressel, the demon. It's nothing personal, but Burroughs wants you dead. Time to see what color a devil burns. Karen, I'm counting on you. That's what the contract is for. Ah, there's the save. I was like, there's no way they're gonna have me do this. Demons wield great power from devil contracts. Attacking one head-on is unwise, even for Karen. When Bomber's body is covered in flames, it's best to avoid him until the flames go out. Still, if you've made it this far, you can take him. Good luck. Ah! Oh. I see. Huh. Palmer's exhausted after using his big move. You have to seize this opportunity. Strike him before he recovers. Back attacks are much more effective. Don't you mock me! Maybe I should heal. Damn, stop running away! Now it's what I'm good at. And also, I'm gonna- I'm- I'm just gonna, you know, um, heal. Just to be safe, you know? I know I'm not getting the recovery- not over yet. No, it's not, because controls are very not easy. But I'm ready this time. Is that all you've got? Flames and bombs mean nothing if they don't hit. Impressive, Karen! You truly are a great devil. My flames can level a building, yet you're just as tough. Release Jillian already! No way! The devil and I still have gas in the tank. You stay out of this, Noel. Follow me, Karen. Let's settle this. Let's go after him. 
You stay here. Rose is the last thing on his mind. He only wants to fight me. Uh, our contract was you helping me. That was our deal. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have no arms. Huh. True, I didn't sign up to be your errand boy. But you can't fight a demon. You can barely walk. Oh. Let's split up. You go to Jillian and keep her safe. I don't see any of Bomber's men around here, so I guess he doesn't care about Jillian anymore. No, okay. At least I can do that on my own. Good. Take it easy and just do what you can. Alright, let's go. Where is the bomber? I have to make sure Jillian is safe. Garbage scattered everywhere. Uh huh. Here I come. Uh, food? A bed? Some blood on the bed. Uh oh. Jillian! She's terribly hurt. She was caught in a massive explosion. Ugh. At least she's still breathing. I have to call an ambulance right away. Oh. I forgot. I can't even make a call without arms. Come to think of it, I truly only got this far because Karen helped me. If I were alone, I'd have no way to fight the bomber. I couldn't even take out on one of his men. I don't think you could have with arms anyway, but, you know. No. There's no time for that kind of thinking. For now, I know Jillian is safe. Is there anything else that I can do? I'll just leave you here, since, you know, I don't have any arms to drag you places or anything. Let's see what I can do. Are we back to Karen? Oh, no. I mean, we are, but... Eat this! Come on, is that all you got? Take this! This guy's a real monster. Ever since my house blew up and its flames entranced me, I've dedicated my life to the bomb. Compared to old human me, seems this grand devil's getting tuckered out. Ugh. So I haven't fully recovered from all the damage I took at the mansion. Karen's losing. If this keeps up. His injuries must not have healed up. It's all because he protected me when I was in shock. Don't run away from this. I got him into trouble, so now I have to help. I have to do what I can. With my mouth, I guess. Full of debris. I don't think I could kick any bomber from here. Strange machine. I can't put any, push any buttons anyway. Okay. No options there. I'm coming, Karen! I'm not coming, Karen! Oh, wait. That looks suspicious. This column's rusted at the base and could break any moment. I only could drop it on Bomber. Without arms, I... No. I can't give up so easily. Like I did every other time. I will find a way. Knock down the column. Head bang it. You're going to take and just take your leave after all the trouble you've caused. Ouch. If hitting this column hurts this much, I can only wonder how much Karen suffered. But I can't run away anymore. Kick it. Come on, Noel. Fine if you want your friend back, or sick that devil of yours on me. Can't give him the satisfaction of running away crying. Don't give up the mission. No save for me. That's the chain we're bound by. The contract we're locked into. Got that, Noel Cerchetti? You may have no arms to fight with, but you can stand proud on those legs I gave you. No, I even got these legs from Karen. Taking away my legs only to give me a new pair. Contracts, devil code. Whatever obligated him, 
How about not taking my legs in the first place? You brought me this far. I won't let you give up now. I'm paying you back for these legs. Have yourself a load of this! Uh-huh. I see. You definitely broke something. Oh, wow, she did break something. That was reckless. If your legs weren't artificial, you'd be reeling in pain right now. Can you believe? Reeling in pain from losing a leg? That's a good thing they are, so I'm not. Good grief. I already told you, I can't let you die. But still, you did well. <laughs> I underestimated you. Didn't think your demon was that capable. I'm impressed. It's over. I'll hand you to the police and that's it. They'll dig up your connections to Burroughs. Even the mayor can't get out of this unscathed. S so it's over? <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. If it were that easy to connect him to people like me, he would have been jailed long ago. What do you mean? Alright. I'll treat you to some info. Since I'm crushed on the ground right now. Why not? First up, I won't tell the cops about Burroughs. Now, why is that? It's not like I want to protect him. It's because I'm afraid of reprisal. Burroughs is connected to the police. Any of us dirty work boys talk, he'll know. And he always takes out traitors. Their friends, their family. All to set an example. The guy's got the heart of a devil. What I've done is nothing compared to what he can and will do. Second, he's completely- he completely controls the police in Lapless. They're all in his pocket. So no matter what Burroughs does, the cops will just cover it up. When did he manage to do that? <laughs> so you see, you can't hope to catch him through grunts like me. To take him down, you'll have to fight him head on. To overcome the fortress that is Lapless. I knew this wouldn't be easy. But now, Noel, looks like we've got a lot to do before we can even approach him. Uh, it's time for a nap, but also you have to carry me because I have one leg and no arms. I've made my decision. I, Noel Cerchetti, will fight against Russell Burroughs. If I leave him to his devices, more and more people will suffer horribly. Not just Jillian, who's still up there, alone, unprotected. So I'm going to face him make him regret ruining my life. So, you have your answer. I can't live looking down on people. But if someone comes after me, I'd rather fight than run away. And today I learned that if I fight, sometimes no one will have to die. I mean, I, the bomber's probably gonna die. It's a dangerous road ahead. I may not be able to protect you. You might end up dying. I'm aware. You'll keep needing my support until you take down Burroughs. That means this is going to be a long contract. When it's done, you'll have to pay a massive price. Even if you defeat Burroughs one day and regain your arms and legs, you'll have to pay the price for me helping you. That might mean your life. I'm aware. Very well. And this is of your own volition, correct? Then according to our contract, I, Great Devil Karen, will be the protector of Noel Cerchetti. I'll be helping you. So go on. Fix your own mistakes. And your mistakes too. No, they're all yours. Says the birdhead. What does that have to do with anything? And I'm no bird, I'm a devil. Right, you are. Oh yes, there's something that's been on my mind for a while. What is it? I was going to ask for a new deal, to make a third contract. You can only make up to three. They did say, though, that he could, like, decide what the cost was.
Oh, she lost her eye. For the sake of her arm. I bet that's what it was. I was jealous of you. I was in a really bad place back then. That's when all of this began, and you got caught in the crossfire. I'm so sorry. I know apologizing won't help anything. But I'm going to fight. Against Mayor Burroughs. And Laplace itself. I want to take back what's dear to me. And to play the piano again. Because now I know that if I try hard enough, I can win back what I've lost. I cannot see. I am legally blind. Well, is that you? Noel is dead. No, I'm... Just a witch. Noel. What is it? I know it's to fight Burroughs, but a third contract to exchange your right eye for your left arm. I'd say you've earned every right to call yourself a demon now. That's why I called myself a witch. I figured. Remember what Bomber said. Demons all have their own names. Oh, I remember. So, I thought one up for you. Always one for aesthetics, aren't you? That's the kind of devil I am. You're always prepared to die. You put your life at risk countless times. So how about... Noel, the mortal fate. The mortal fate. Tell me whatever you like. But it does have a bit of a ring to it. Nice. Oh, this was good. I really like it. I do really get Angels of Death vibes with it, which is great, because I love Angels of Death. But it's its own thing, and it's really interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn down music just a little bit, though, after I move the wires on my mouse. There we go. Oh my gosh. What a great... I guess they, they call it Season 1. Episode 1. Whatever it is. Yeah, Season 1. Mortal Revenger. What a good introduction. And there are seven of these. So that's gonna be fun. Um, so I guess we can do once one a stream. Unless some of them are longer. Oh, there's more. Okay. In other news, early yesterday, the feared bomber of downtown was arrested in the old steelworks by the slums. After a tip from Mayor Burroughs' network, Laplace police located and raided his hideout. The mayor noted that one who would target... Blah, 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 blah. The mayor noted that one who would target the ceremonial pianist could be left at large no longer. Was Fugo Dressel losing uh, Fugo Dressel losing part of your plan? Of course not. I was counting on him to win. You would rub out Noel and Karen, and then I would have the police take care of him. Is that why you took the risk of having him bomb Miss Jillian's house? I believe that was a touch reckless. The people are quite upset as well. He's the bomber, he bombs things, and it drew Noel out, so it did the job. By the way, taking care of that despicable bomber makes me look all the better. Besides, I had to rein in that unruly demon sooner or later. Ideally, they would have docked each other. But Noel and Karen defeated him. They teamed up, did they? Matters not. I know their next move. I'm counting on you, Sibylla. Ooh, is she a devil? Secretly? Interesting. She reminds me of the, the lady in Tuli. I don't remember her name. But oh my gosh, what a good game thus far. I'm really enjoying it. I love I love that they make it very easy to get health potions and everything. It's not like struggling to to find health. Um like, the puzzles thus far are, are, are pretty obvious, uh, which is nice. Um, I'm, I'm lazy, so I'm like, please give me baby puzzles. 
but yeah, I, it's it's very interesting mechanics. It's very interesting game. Um, and I do like that they keep making it very obvious about the save files and everything. Like, it's save, save, save. Um, which is good for someone like me who forgets a lot unless I come across a save, like, little spot or something. And then I'm like, oh yeah, save it. So just being manually told, hey, it's time to save. That's actually really nice. Um, but yeah, I really like the characters. Um, Gremlin is my favorite, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but um, very, very, very fun. Uh, and I'm excited to play more of this uh, in the coming coming streams. So yeah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was going to go till 9.30, but we finished uh, this, and I, I don't think I want to start another one and then stop in the at the very beginning of it. Um, so we'll stop here for today. Um, yeah. On Friday, planning for more Kingdom Hearts 2, so look forward to that. And then some art is planned on Monday, so we'll just keep following that um, schedule there. And apologies if anything gets delayed or anything. My computer's been having more and more issues randomly, so but I'm hoping to fiddle with it soon to hopefully get it back on its feet and, and doing better. But right now we might have a few random issues, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully we can take care of that pretty soon and pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah. I will see you all on Friday.